Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this great Saturday morning. So let's have a look here on the Bitcoin price because yesterday on Friday we closed the CMEs at $9,275 so keep this price level in mind because wherever we are going through the weekend and you know weekend is playtime because very often during the weekend Bitcoin makes uh, big moves and then we have a new CME gap which usually get closed very quickly. So if you want to trade this then maybe wait till Monday to open up a trade but since uh, we already dropped here a little bit today here to the downside I potentially already gonna open a little long position already now because there is a chance that we could drop here towards 9000 still but uh, since the sentiment currently is changing again back into more bullish than bearish and also we already had this play out of this falling wedge here and we almost met our target here of around nine thousand dollar I think we could be back here in this potential breakout from this bigger falling wedge that we had here in the last couple of days and also the S&P 500 mini futures currently are pumping so on Friday we had this uh, breakout here to the upside from this potential bearish pattern that we formed here so this descending triangle which should have uh, broke out to the downside broke now out to the upside so the S&P 500 and overall all the stocks are still looking quite bullish in my opinion and I think we still have also there a lot of room left to the upside but of course uh, little pullbacks are always possible and since now it's a weekend and most likely on Monday we're gonna retrace towards 9300 where we closed on Friday the CMEs I think the more we're gonna drop here uh, the better it is to open a long position and potentially then right uh, the gap filling up towards $9,300 and this is why I'm planning to do a little uh, long position and not anymore the short that I took yesterday over on BTO from $9,300 down here because I was thinking that most likely if we're gonna top out again towards $9,300 and get rejected we will see a major fall towards 9k but so far on Friday we closed at $9,300 and since now it's a weekend I think most likely on Monday we're gonna retrace somewhere at those levels and retest it again. So here in the one hour you can see currently we have the RSI below the 50 level which is bearish, stochastic is oversold. So here in the one hour we still have a little bit of room left to the downside. So we could easily go towards 9k and test it. But you can see that the 200 moving average is saving us so far. So we're bouncing from this moving average and the 20 and 50 so far are right at the resistance point. So here watch out for a possible breakout here to the upside or to the downside and possible take this trade. So to enter my little long position I will in case that we're gonna break here this 9240 uh, resistance otherwise if we're gonna drop here to the downside then I'm gonna scale in probably at around 9100 to 9000 dollar a little long position. Nothing serious because during the weekend is uh, very dangerous to trade in my opinion and usually I like to trade only from Monday to Friday but sometimes it's also nice to do some little trades during the weekend because on the weekends very often and we see uh, big moves and then retrace immediately back to where we started um, uh, the weekend. All right, now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour. Because here currently we are still bearish, uh, we are trading here in the lower area, also MACD had a bearish cross and is now shifted to the downside. So here even if we would go up here towards 9240 we will most likely get rejected there and then continue again to trade to the downside. Also the bottom here is at around $9200 where we are right now more or less. So I'm watching right now this uh, test here of this 9240 which could come up pretty soon and if here we are not able to break through then we should be again shifted to the downside towards 9k. And if we go over to the 4 hour time frame here also currently we are trading below the 20 moving average. So the momentum is clearly now shifted to the downside especially if we are going to close this 4 hour candle below $9,250. Because in that case although we will bring here the RSI again below the 50 level stochastic is in neutral condition but also here we still have some room left to the downside. 
we have here currently the 50 moving average holding as a support but also here if we're gonna close this four hour candle below here this 9250 level i think we could see a possible retest of this uh, low 9k again and if we're really gonna drop lower than 8950 and lose here the main support here at around 9k then i think we could see a possible 200 daily moving average retest even now during the weekend but uh, as I told you, I'm still more bullish than bearish at the moment, even though we had here the play out of this uh, rising wedge here in the lower time frames. But in the bigger time frames, we are still very bullish. And now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour, because uh, here we are trading right in the middle range here between 9,220 and $9,300. It's also looking like that we should be shifted to the downside here and we could go down here to test $9,100 and this is where I try to get a little long position to ride it up on Monday if we're going back towards $9,300 where we close the CMEs. MACD is also shifted to the downside so I think uh, for the next couple of hours we will see some more pushes to the downside so think about if you want to take a short or if you want to wait and then later on take a, maybe a long position and ride it up so now let's go over to the daily time frame because this is in my opinion one of the most important uh, time frame to watch currently because here you can see clearly the pattern that we are in right now this potential falling wedge which is a bullish pattern and also the 200 daily moving average which is right at the bottom of this wedge which is currently at around eight thousand five hundred dollar so this is the range where i think i will start to scale in some longs because currently i'm still bullish and i think if we go down here we will have a big bounce at the 200 daily moving average at least for the beginning RSI is right at the 50, stochastic is coming down from overbought condition, is now almost in neutral territory. So here also we have a lot of room left to the upside or downside. So if you start to scale in longs from a 9k even down to 8500, I think you should be doing fine. And that's why I think it's still very risky to short. I would rather look for a long than a short right now, even though in the next couple of hours we could see some pushes to the downside here. And even if we open up here the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're testing here the middle area. So also here in theory, we could have some more pushes to the downside. But if we can close the daily candle above 9,200, we should be good to go here to the upside towards this $9,500 again to retest. Especially if next week we're going to build up again support above $9,300. I think next week we could see $9,500 retest pretty soon. MACD is also shifted to the upside here, so in theory we should be here very bullish in the daily. Only if today or tomorrow we would close uh, below 9200 and also Monday we cannot retrace immediately towards 9300. Here in theory we could drop towards 8900 very easily again. And now let's open up also the weekly time frame because here we are still very bullish even though we had here quite a week uh, to the upside and currently we're retracing back down but i think if we can close this weekly candle above the previous one so above 9100 dollar we should be bullish because in that case we could see a trend reversal here again so in the next couple of weeks we could see some more pushes to the upside here towards our main resistance of ten thousand dollar and potentially all also break it we are still above the 20 weekly moving average which is very bullish rsi still above the 50 and stochastic also is cooling off here a little bit after being very overbought here so all in all i'm still very bullish and also watching at the stock market right now it looks like that the stocks don't want to stop right now also you can see that we bounce perfectly here in the s p 500 mini futures on the 20 daily moving average and we're having a golden cross here the 50 daily moving average is crossing the 200 daily so in the stock market especially here on the s p 500 everything is still looking like we could still be at the beginning of a major uh, bull run and i think if the stocks are starting to push to the upside then also bitcoin will even outperform them even more and that's why make sure to be ready for all scenarios even if we drop down here make sure that you have some fiat on the sideline or you can open up some longs over on bybit or bityard to take as much profits as you can once we're gonna start the big 
bull run. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. I will go from tomorrow on on a little vacation uh, through Italy. I'm not yet sure where we're gonna stop. So my videos may be gonna be a bit late, but definitely tune in every day because I will stream and do the videos from everywhere I'm gonna stop in Italy. So thank you again very much for your support guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that we do every week and with every 500 subscribers here on YouTube. And if you need a BitYard or Bybit account where you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage, you find all the links that you need down below here to sign up and get some sign up bonus if you use my invitation links. Also make sure to subscribe to my Twitch channel you find also the link down below here in the video description and everyone is welcome to join our free discord trading chat the invitation link is also down below here in the video description so leave a like if you like the content subscribe and we see us all in the next one bye